Yo guys, what is up? It is Count here. Welcome back to another video. Before we get stuck into the video, guys, I want you to know that I'm going to be potentially doing a giveaway on WWE 2K22. Now, being a smaller channel, that's why I say potentially, but the potentially is a key thing for you guys. Because I'm a smaller channel, you have a lot of chance to win this. So, express your interest down below. I want to know how many of you guys want to see me do a giveaway. And yeah, comment down below. I'm getting so close to 10,000 subscribers, so it'd be handy if you guys could sub too. And we're doing so many videos on WWE 2K22 when it releases and before it releases. We've got a big announcement in a couple days. You bet your damn dollar I'll make a video on that. I'm also going to be making probably tons of my faction, my rise, and potentially showcase videos and my GM. This game's got way too much stuff for me to keep up with, but I'm going to do it for you guys. So let's get into the video, guys. I love you all. Let's go. Today, guys, we are two days away from the official WWE 2K22 reveal. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, we've talked about a lot of this stuff. We talked about the leaked cover that came out uh, two days ago now, three days ago when the video's coming out. And we talked about the pre-order bonuses. We've talked about the NWO for Life edition. We've talked about it all. And today, we're just going to go over every last bit of info we have, which isn't much, on the new game before we get this big reveal that should reveal a lot, including additions, platforms, price, features, uh, roster, lots of those things should be in a couple days because we know a lot of these things already. So let's get right into it. Let's head down our timeline and let's see what we've got. So on April 9th, 2021, WWE 2K announced that they would be revealing some stuff at WrestleMania. And that's all we knew. It was a it was WWE 2K related. It could have been that they were uh, changing the name to SmackDown vs. Raw again. Who knows? But it was, of course, the WWE 2K22 announcement. They revealed a small 30-second trailer showcasing mainly Rey Mysterio and Cesaro. Conveniently, guys that don't have hair... Um, and showed it off. It didn't look like anything special at all, to be perfectly honest. Um, we should have really gathered that he was going to be on the cover from this, but still, I was unsure. It could have been a showcase thing, which we later found out, but only the other day we found out he was on the cover. Anyway, they showed that small little trailer. There wasn't too much in it, but that's all we knew, and it hits different. Now, with me, I thought the game could be releasing earlier this year, potentially around SummerSlam time. This is the earliest they've ever revealed a game, given that it, what they're calling it 2K22, not 2K21 or anything. So, here we are, I'm thinking, damn, here we go. Turns out, no, that isn't the case. So, they took their time after this, and eventually, around August time, just a bit before SummerSlam, they revealed a couple of Edge pitches, and they looked pretty good. Uh, the first one looked better than the second one, to be perfectly honest, but they still look good. Edge's model looks pretty darn good, better than 2K20, that is for sure. And then following that, a couple of days later, they release a new trailer. Now, it did feature a couple of things that I didn't like, Drew McIntyre, for example, but it just showed off pretty much some gameplay. Uh, it's kind of gameplay, but it's more cinematic, but it is gameplay. Uh, and they then tell us, more to come in January, it's releasing March 2022. So here's when they announced the delay. They still didn't give us much info. And yes, guys, it was a delay. I'm tired of this conversation with you guys in the comments. All you have to do is go to peggy.info, search up WWE 2K22. Peggy are an official uh, European, I believe, rating board. We do sometimes have them here in Australia. And they, they put the game to Peggy to get it rated, and they gave a release date, 15th of October, 2021. 2K, this is a pathetic excuse when you say, no, we never revealed a release date. It didn't get delayed technically. It got delayed. Okay, I'm tired of that combo. They revealed the delay, and they revealed not much else, but they revealed a lot of models, which is what we hadn't seen yet. Then we all think, damn, we're not getting anything until 2022. But we go a few months into the future, and we get to November, and we get the hit list. And this reveals a lot of stuff. Once again, we get more gameplay, more models, but these are the features that they sort of revealed and outlined. Redesigned gameplay engine, new controls, stunning graphics, immersive presentation, 2K showcase, which features Rey Mysterio, which makes me think, oh, maybe Rey isn't on the cover. My GM, my faction, my rise, universe mode and creation suite, the usual ones. However, my GM is returning. It's been like 14 years since we had it. SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 was the last time, I believe. That game released when I was about five years old. Would you believe it? Uh, my faction, which appears to be like a my team sort of mode. 
We've had confirmed now some cards and stuff that like will feature cards sort of like similarly to NBA 2K's My Team. Uh, we've got My Rise, which seems to be a My Career mode, and it has actually been mentioned as My Career elsewhere, so 2K are a bit conflicted with what they want to call it, but at the moment it's My Rise. Universe mode and creation suite, nothing new there. So the things that stand out out of that announcement is the new gameplay engine, which we've sort of seen in the small bit of gameplay we've had, as well as the new controls, which, you know, 2K20 had new controls, and look how bad that was. And the graphics and stuff hopefully look good on the next gen. And scrolling a little bit further down our timeline, we can see WWE 2K22, the leaked cover of Rey Mysterio, released a couple days ago, and it looks beautiful. At this point in time, we're not still 100% sure if it's real, but this is more than likely what they're going to reveal in a couple days, as well as pre-orders, probably live then. Pre-orders live. And yeah, the NWO for Life edition is something to be keen about. I wonder what physical item is going to be included in that box. But that is about all we know. We really don't know much more about this game. We know that it seemingly is coming out in March, which is less than two months away. The rumoured release date as part of the leaks the other day is the Deluxe Edition and Collector's Edition will release on the 8th of March and all other editions, the standard ones, release on the 11th of March. I would rather it the other way around like the early access used to be um, because 8th is a Tuesday, 11th is a Friday. I'd rather it be the 11th and then the 15th or the 4th and then the 8th. That way we sort of get, you know, a bit of a, a difference. Uh, you get the early edition on the Friday, you get the weekend to play. That's your advantage by buying the game, that paying more for the game. I'm not too fussed about it though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, I am going to be doing a giveaway on, on this game. So please be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell. And yeah, and I'm going to be making so many more videos, guys. I'm really, really pushing this year to get up there. I'm getting close to 10K, so I really love you guys for that. And I just want to become the best 2K guy out there. So thank you all for watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to make a video on the reveal in a couple days. So stay tuned for that. I love you all, and I'll see you guys all later.